All right, guys. I'm gonna tie you. This is Nate. I'm gonna tie you, Caddis nymph. This is a wicked fly again. Um, I made this one up. It's been proven. Catches lots of fish. I weight all my flies, all my nymphs almost. The less split shot you can use as a beginner, the less chances you'll have of putting knots in your tippet when casting, especially under like a heavy setup with an indicator. Okay, again a dam. Get that little tag end, roll it in. All right. This fly is pretty badass. Okay, again, multicolored tinsel for the rib. I like to add in my tinsel on this fly fairly high up in the hook shank. And then I run it down. This gives it a lot of strength so it doesn't pull out. Tinsel is already weak enough. All the way down. Okay, I'm going to use dark olive, uh, you can use black, black works really well, but I'm going to use dark olive right now, it's kind of what I have in front of me, just kind of dicing out a bunch of flies today for you guys, dark olive does work, I've done it, landed a decent brown, this is a, again, big, big pattern, size 10. And it works on all the streams in southern southwestern Alberta. Man down. Anyways. I guess I could shorten that up a bit so I'm not smacking the camera. You can see that, eh? Yep. Again, very thin profile on this. Run it up. The squirrel kind of gives it a nice buggy look. Not the caddises should have it, but this is a very big pattern. Works really well. You can tie this in smaller patterns, which I do that work a lot on the smaller rivers, but caught fish on this big one. Start to beef up it a bit. As I get up higher, okay, now right, kind of there, that's where I want to stop. Take my tinsel, kind of wherever it'll go, this really doesn't matter. Tinsel's kind of, just gives it a bit of a rib and a trigger. It's a highly visible fly underwater. Not good and murky, pretty heavy silted water, but it worked. I don't know. Try it out. Clear water, it works really well. Okay. Now we're going to mimic kind of a wing casing coming out. Again. Let's fix that up for you. I like my pheasant tail. So I'll just do a little, little bit of pheasant tail, just like that. Kind of wrap it in, cut it. Very nice. Okay, white by it. You don't need to use a by it. You can use like. Whatever you want, this just kind of give it my signature. Uh, you don't want much of this sticking out. This is kind of the wing poking through. Doesn't have to be pretty. I'm sure they're not pretty when they're trying to do this either. I leave a little bit. You know, wrap it in, make it tough. And then a little bit more trigger. Some of this stuff, different colors you can buy it in, but you don't want too, too much. One wrap, two wraps, and then you can kind of pull it and look at it. That's good enough. 
There. Cut it. You can use this fly in a still water application too. It'll work. Not great, but it works. Give it a head. Again, very easy to tie. Sloppy, messy, you don't have to be perfect. But it works, it's a fish catcher. I was down at McKinnon Flats at the bow this past summer in 09, and I hooked up. I don't know what it was on this fly, but he took me for a run right into the backing, like hardcore. There's nothing I could do to stop this fish. I don't know if it was a bull trout or what, just big brown, but I didn't even get to see it. It was huge. This year I'll get him. We'll get him on camera too. Okay, I like giving it a bit of a head. Wiggle it in behind the bead. Don't want to have it exposed, we just start breaking flies. Wiggle. Very buggy looking. You can trim all it too. To have a head cement. That's a pretty badass fly, guys. Cuddies love it, rainbows dig it. A couple of rainbows on this last summer. This even works in the winter. I was rocking this a couple times. Had a couple big hits. There was a day I couldn't land any fish and it was on this fly. Just bad luck. Just trim it up, make it look pretty. There you go, kind of rough it up. There it is. That is wicked. Now, you can do different stages, right? You can make kind of the wing in a bit shorter, make it all much shorter if you want. Tighten up thorax. There it is. Change it up the tinsel, bead, color, and again, size. I choose the bigger ones for the video. You don't need to, uh, I think I can show you this here. I don't know if I, yeah, you don't need to have a bite. You know, I use like a synthetic white. Um, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like cotton. That works. Whatever you got that's white, stick it in there. You can go without it. Just do pheasant tail and some tr trigger there. Works wicked. There you go. Try and think up some more flies for you guys. Again, all the flies I tie are the ones I kind of think up myself. Um, obviously, I build build on other people's ideas, but that's fly fishing, picking brains. Try it out. Tell me what you think. Good fishing. Cheers.